Hey y'all, it's Bitty Boo, aka Data. And I'm gonna do a Valentine's Day tag. It was a tag that was done by Maniac Grammys Homestead. Um <clears throat> there's 14 questions. I'm gonna answer them the best I can because Let's face it, some of them I just, I don't know. All right, here we go. Question number one. Would you rather receive 100 roses or 100 pieces of chocolate for Valentine's Day? Well, I guess it depends. If the roses are rooted where I could plant them, then I'd take the roses. But as far as the chocolate goes, I'd give it away because I'm not a big chocolate fan. Unless, unless, it was Reese Cups. Now, if that 100 pieces of chocolate is Reese Cups, I'll take that 100 pieces of chocolate any day because this fat girl loves peanut butter. Okay, number two. Red or pink lips on Valentine's Day? Well, I don't really wear makeup, but if, I guess if I was wearing makeup, I would probably choose red. But normally, it's all natural. What is your favorite Valentine's Day treat? Hmm. Well... The only thing I've ever received for Valentine's Day was flowers and chocolate, so. And I'm not a big chocolate fan. If I got to pick what I wanted, it would probably be the dipped strawberries. When it, number four, when it comes to desserts, what flavor do you prefer? Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry? Strawberry. In a heartbeat. Number five, are you married, single, or in a relationship? I am married and in a relationship with my husband. You could not pay me to be single out there. Number six, you believe in love at first sight. I believe in attraction at first sight. I don't necessarily believe in love. I guess I need to tell you the story behind that. The reason I say that is because the first time I seen Rick, I looked at the lady, which was my boss, and I said, I'm going to marry that boy right there. That was the first time I ever seen him. And he came in the store where I worked several times, and we talked one day, and he was gone. Never seen him again for two years. I said, no. Let me retract it. A little over a year and a half because he had moved. Anyway, um, I thought maybe I scared him off because I asked him if he was single. <laughs> and after that he quit coming in the store so I thought oh well you know there he goes there went blue eyes but I did tell my, my boss 
when I seen him, I said, one of these days I'm going to marry that guy right there. And of course, she laughed at me. Uh, and he was, he was a cutie. Number seven. What is your favorite Valentine's Day memory as a child? My favorite Valentine's Day memory as a child is the parties we had at school. All the homemade cupcakes, brownies, cookies. The teacher would bring in stuff to make punch. It was flipping awesome. We had so much fun. For the last three hours of school was party. It was awesome. Number eight, what is your favorite Valentine's Day memory as an adult? I do not have one. I have a worst one. I don't have a good one. The worst one, I guess at that day, to me, it was a good one. But hindsight's twenty twenty. So... I married my first husband on Valentine's Day in 1987. The worst mistake of my life, okay? The only good thing that came out of that marriage was my two kids. Or my two oldest kids. Okay. Number nine. Would you rather eat in a restaurant or eat out in a restaurant, or eat at home on Valentine's Day. Well, this one's kind of a double-edged, because I would rather have my favorite restaurant's food here at my home. If I could say, hey, Rick, go to Rosanna's, pick us up our favorite dishes and bring them home. Oh, my Lord. We can sit there eating, just be miserable rubbing our bellies, because it's that good. Uh, number 10. If you could only eat one color of food on Valentine's Day, which color would you choose, red or white? Red. I choose red. Uh, number 11. Would you rather have your feet or your shoulders massaged? Honestly, it depends on which one's giving me the most grief that day because I have neuropathy in my feet. I have arthritis in my shoulders. So, I would probably rather have both, but it honestly depends on which one's hurting. <clears throat> Number 12. What is your favorite love song? Simple. George Strait, Cross My Heart. I love George Strait. Number 13, what is your favorite romance movie that you would enjoy watching on Valentine's Day? Well, it's not necessarily that I would enjoy watching it on Valentine's Day. I'd, I love this movie any day. And I, I, I would, it's gone with the wind. I like the sarcasm, I'm sorry. Uh, number 14, what are your real feelings about Valentine's Day? My real feelings about Valentine's Day is February the way the 14th is not my Valentine's Day. My Valentine's Day is the day I married my husband, Rick. That's the day I got my Valentine. This February the 14th crap is just... commercialized 
is something to make people feel guilty about not spending their hard-earned money on Valentine's Day. But I'm going to be honest with you. The best Valentine's Day gifts you would ever have comes freely. It does not cost money. You may like the things that cost money, but the things that mean the most doesn't cost a dime. The only thing it would cost you would be your time. And the way I see it, if I'm not worth your time, I'm not worth your dime. And I would rather have your time as your dime. So, as far as Valentine's Day goes, Honestly, I feel it's just a trumped up thing for you to go and spend money to make you feel guilty. And if you don't spend X amount of dollars and do this and do that for your lovey on Valentine's Day, then you're not worth a penny, which is wrong. Like I said, the only thing worth anything on Valentine's Day comes freely. It doesn't cost you a dime. And if you're someone that, oh, well, they got better get me this or get me that for Valentine's Day, do you really love them? Or are you just in it for the stuff? Oh, I didn't mean to get on a high horse. So, um, for those that's been asking, I feel 100% better. And thank you very much for your prayers and warm wishes. I do have people that I would like to tag in this video. First one is Lady B, the hopeful homesteader. The second one is Rain Country, Heidi and Patrick both. I want to hear what y'all have to say about this. Then Dirt Patch Heaven, Julie and John. I want to know what y'all's take is on this. Prepper Potpourri. Bet she'll have some good answers. And Christy from the Straw Family Farm. There's my tags. If anybody else that wants to do this, you feel free to do it. Consider yourself tagged. So. Anyway, oh, I want to tell you one good thing that came out of all the sickness. <clears throat> Other than I pretty much slept for a good three weeks, but I only, only, I know I was up more, and I know I was cooking. But I can only remember cooking three meals. I only remember getting up and going to a potty and going back to bed. And I do remember cooking those three meals. Hubby says I cooked every night. He said I might have missed one or two. I don't remember it. My fevers were so high. Uh, but I did a lot of sleeping for pretty much three weeks. So in that three weeks... I did not have a cigarette. So, I've quit smoking. I like just a few days. And I will be a month not smoking. So that is the good thing that come out of my uh, sickness. I can breathe. I'm not having chest pains. I can walk across the floor without worth <laughs> I can talk to people without coughing. I can actually talk without having to suck in a deep breath and try to push words out. So, there we go. There's you an update. There's you a tag. There's you whatever you want to do with it. 
I love you each and every one. I wish I could give y'all a big hug. Y'all take care. Bye.